back to Remold. Last episode, I asked you guys what we wanted to do about Bonnet Big Lee's Big Boy Big Armor Collection. Some comments were helpful. One comment said, use Dragonhide, you fool, even though we only have 88 Dragonhide, so can literally make nothing out of it. So take that comment back, you big shit. But besides that, everything else was pretty helpful. Uh, one of you pointed out that the braces of the pacifist are useless because you can only equip those to someone who's given up violence or something. Um, so that's, yeah, that's what it says there. This item can only be worn by a pawn that's rejected violence, so I guess someone who's incapable of violent. So you get rid of that. Um, you've got deflection or defense. Uh, that one gives arcane resistance 10%. That gives, oh wait, 40% chance to block physical attacks. 30% chance to block all blocked attacks are deflected against enemies. Oh my god, we need to give that to, like, fucking everyone, my dude. If everybody gets a pair of those, they're like Wonder Woman. That's exactly what that is. Anyway, I, apparently this is a fairly good setup, so we're going to go with this still. So we're going to make a lot of mana weave, though, before we can craft a lot of this stuff. Unless we fancy hunting another dragon. I don't know about you guys, I'm not a big fan of getting us killed by yet another dragon. So we'll wait for that one for later. Now, one of you left such an incredible comment. We've got all these anime, all these, all these mangas, all these graphic novels in our stockpile going to waste. Why not become Bonnet Bigley, Weeb Supreme, Purveyor and Seller of Manga? <laughs> it's a great idea, because not only will we make some silver from it, but when they read them, it'll increase their mood as well. So, I'm going to go ahead. What does it count as? Like, um, manufactured, maybe? What's trade goods? Um, graphic novel. Holy shit, there it is. Clear all. Graphic novel. Boom. Um, also, puzzle box, pitch glue, stuffed... Oh, so, these are things you've just... Produced to sell at a profit, I would assume. Anyway, critical. Uh, copy the settings from that one. We'll paste it into everywhere. We're going to be the world's greatest manga seller. We're going from medieval society into Weeb Supreme Bonnet Bigly. Get rid of these graphic novels. And let's go dump them all in the inn. Excellent. Oh my god. What a th this is so dumb. This is so dumb. We've just built the world's biggest manga studio. Alright, so. What's next? Well... Obviously, getting all that crap out as soon as possible will be good. Getting everybody some of those bracelets of deflection, I think, would be incredible. One of you left the comment that snipers have an ability called Tranquilizer Shot, which does exactly as you would imagine. It knocks somebody out. Um, I, I believe there was also another class as well. Somebody left, um, like, druids. Oh, bards. Bards can use a lullaby to send people to sleep. So both of those sound incredible. Now, unfortunately, the only way we can get a bard or a sniper without, you know, capturing or recruiting is by creating the random arcane, you know, scripts and then having people read them in the hopes that they come out what we want them to be. So I'm going to go for unfinished torn scripts. Oh, wait. Martial book would give us a sniper, right? But can that one also give us a random magic class? Okay. So we might need to make a couple of these. Now, we need Devil Strand for that. Uh, which I believe our Devil Strand still hasn't grown yet, has it? So we've got this one here, 11%. This one here, 44%. Oh my god. Okay. So I think we'll give the game some time here to grow some Devil Strand. Oh my god, we're making so much Magisite. Why? Why are we getting so much all of a sudden? Oh. Is it... Oh, I guess it's because there's no place for them to store it. So they're just leaving it in the corner. It's probably just building up. Right, okay. Um. Also, no storage space for graphic novels. Are we? Have we filled up all the barrels with... With graphic novels already? Wait, what? Copy settings. That's not true. Look at how much space we've got for all of these graphic novels, you fool. Um, okay, hang on. Orders. Haul urgently. Get the stuff out of the cases. And then let's try again. Yeah, I guess it's because these boys actually have no way to haul Magisite. Like, the stockpile zones don't take them either. So they're just building up in the quarry. Okay, fair enough. I, I mean, that's fine. Obviously, I'm not going to complain. But that explains where all our Magisite has gone to over here. Has this been here all along? Am I a fool? Magic manipulation. I've not noticed this the entire playthrough. I feel like this hasn't always been here, but there we go. Anyway, um, so what we'll do is we get Bonnet Bigley then crafting at the Arcane Forge. I was trying to work out... Well, okay, still not doing it, though. Uh, Bonnet, Magic, Arcane Forge, Mana Weave. Yeah, why are you not... Why, why can you not do that? Am I missing something? Um, hang on, let's just take a look here. That's definitely a magic job, isn't it? Um, intellectual 10, skill intellectual. Okay, maybe he has to go for... Research doesn't make sense. Uh, tailor. Maybe it counts as tailoring. Nope. Uh, fucking Christ. It's goddamn crafting. It's got to be crafting. Hang on. Nope. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Okay, it took me a while, but I worked out what the issue is. You need 50 mana available to be able to craft the the, the mana weave, right? You, you actually need that. I don't know whether it's... Does it say that? Um... It just says difficult and taxing. That's it. Requires additional reactive response to physical force. Blah, 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 blah. 
Does it say it requires the, the magic? No, it does not. Well, basically, you need also magic to be able to craft these things as well. So I imagine if we took uh, anybody who's actually fairly okay at crafting. Uh, Moss is apparently... Oh, he's unloading inventory. Uh, let's take one of our mages, for example. Uh, can I make the braces? Prioritize fortune. There we go. So Croesus, when he comes over, we'll start making mana weave. Oh, look. His magic goes down by loads. That's what the Arcane Forge does, I see. So it's fueled by mana. Okay. Wish I had known that earlier. So what we could do, I guess, is move the Arcane Capacitor over here. Because then, if we set the magic higher, they can prioritize... Man, that's actually a much better idea. Right, let's build another Arcane Forge over here. Then we'll set magic to be the highest at all times. So they're constantly filling up the battery banks of, of these Arcane Capacitors. And then whenever we need it, we can just suck it out of the Capacitors. It's, it's, it's a great idea, I think. This also works out pretty well, because if, if there are mages who have mana left over and are capable of making mana weave, they'll just automatically come over here. There we go, prime example, pot's coming over, immediately crafting some, so bonnet comes over, patches can come over and charge this as well, and, you know, that's what the magic thing will do, so they'll automatically charge capacitors as well. So there we go, craft at arcane forge, charge arcane object, so when someone else wants to come in, I assume, ha uh, create some of this, they could take it from the capacitor, fingers crossed that's how it works. Okay, this is pretty great. So basically, it works exactly as I thought, right? As they're stood next to it, if they don't have maximum mana, it will fill them up. And then all you do is craft what we can with him. Then when he stops crafting, draft him, stand him there, let him recharge, and then start him crafting again. In that time, people have generally come over and refilled it with their own mana. This is working out very, very well. All right. If only we had a few more mages now at this stage, maybe even increase their, um, is it spirit that gives them additional mana? Either way, we've got to level people up, so we might as well check here. Reginald Elkip, I'm still going for this Grave Blade because I feel like eventually, oh, I should have gone with Spite. I do like Spite more. Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Either way, any offensive capabilities with him is a bonus. Now, we should also make him that Death Knight ring. Bonnet comes first, but Reginald Elkip is our, is our prime killer. So, we definitely want him to, uh, to gain some bonuses from that. Overwhelm Versatility, of course, comes first with Insane Nigel. Uh, Jim Morrison, let's take a look at what you've got. Um, generally, a lot of good stuff. We could go with the highest level of Psionic Storm. I need to use Psionic Storm more, particularly when we get a lot of enemies bunched up around this gate, because that will just absolutely annihilate it. Um, Mark, Heart of Darkness, already has it. Shadow Command, what does that do? Command the Shadow to envelop your enemies in a living nightmare that was surrounding their greatest fears. Right, okay. Um, we've also got Soul Link, which I wasn't a particularly big fan of. Um, Repulsion. During its burst of energy, it targets itself with enough force to launch nearby creatures away from the center. Might be good as the enemies march on this gate. We can do it there and blast them back again. I don't know which of these... I don't know if any of these are particularly good, to be honest with you. I'm going to try this one, just in the case... Uh, in the hopes that it will knock people down. Maybe stun them. Um, oh, it also infects other people as well. That's very, very useful. Shadow Command decreases the mana cost, reduces the severity cost to propagate, dominate to another host by 20%. Pitch Black... Chris is the power. Yeah, I'm going to do that one instead so that we can focus it on, say, if we get, you know, like we said before, Sniper, Bard, whatever. Then we can focus on those and try and knock them down with non-offensive spells. Blink, Summon, Teleport. Not a big fan of any of these. I'm going to try Blink because one of you guys said that you saw uh, one of them automatically using Blink. So we will go for that. And that's basically all of our wizards, right? Um, oh, except for obviously Pots and Patches, but those boys are always going to come first on my list. We've got, oh, of course, Egas is the Ice Wizard, wizard isn't he? Um, Frost Ray, that sounds pretty offensive. I'll go for Frost Ray at level 1 with you. Oh, it's got so many points available for these things. Yes, alright, enticing offer. Summon two greater minions. We'll have to take a look at what this does. And increase the duration by 10 minutes per skill point. Obviously, we're going to go for that as well. And coercion decreases the mana cost. Now, I want to see what these greater minions look like, to be honest with you. Boom. Oh, shit. Not only does it summon two at once, but they are huge. That's very cool. And they, they seem like they move a lot faster. I wonder if they can do other things as well. Because they were limited to hauling and cleaning last time. So maybe they can do, again, other jobs. Very, very cool. All right. And then Patches has... Oh, another Warlock. Yeah, I forgot about this. Um, two points to learn. I want to save them up for Shadow Bolt, to be honest with you. And then, of course, Bonnet Bigley has plenty of points. Hey, that's pretty good. Right. Powered Creation. The number of e undead that can be created, I don't think is necessary. Hasten undead, undead movement, cheating death reduces the mana cost. So anything that gives him mana recovery, honestly. Um, clarity is absolutely bang on. There we go. So we should be able to even raise some more undead now if we feel like it. Okay, here we go. So we finished the mana weave bill. I set to make 400 and then unpause. Oh, was it 200? Yeah, no, I set to make 200 and then unpause 500 and unpause at 200. So we should be able to start making some gear now. He's going to use up like all of his magic. Oh my god, he's not even going to get freaking close. Oh my lord. Okay, stand there and just drain that capacitor, my boy. Take it all. Because I don't want somebody else starting this job. Man, can I, can I restrict it to only Bonnet Bigley in that case? Uh, any worker. It's a shame you can't restrict it. God damn it. Because I want these people topping up the uh, the capacitor. I don't want them working at the forge, though. 
Because otherwise, again, this is going to happen when we're making multiple copies of the same thing. Right, okay. Um, yeah, just stand here for a while. Top up. It's fine. Not a big deal. And if we see anybody coming over trying to forge it, we'll have to stop them. Right. Oh my god, we're not really getting close. Um, mana potions. Hang on. We do have mana potions. Consume. Does that refuel him back up to full, maybe? Um, what's he doing? There we go, 57. I mean, it's far from great, but it's better than nothing. All right, he's going to carry on anyway. Thank you. Cloak of Supremacy. I mean, it sounds great, and these things give us ridiculous bonuses too. Bonnet does not have the mana to sustain the dog. The dog disintegrated. I think we got very, very, very unlucky then, because he definitely does have the mana. Um, I think what happened was he, he used all of his mana on the forge. It got to zero, and then the maintenance tick for the, the, the magic upkeep on these boys also occurred, and then saw that he had zero, so obviously killed a dude off. That's a kind of a massive pain in the ass, isn't it? That's like genuinely such a shame. All right, come on, raise somebody new then. Because he's definitely got... Look at that. Look at how fast his mana's going up. That's... You're, you're lying to me. I know he just ran past the capacitor. Shh, don't tell anyone. But his mana is definitely... Like, it's still it's still increasing. So clearly we've been lied to here. Open the grave. No, no, no. Open open the grave. Let's see who we've got in here. Let's just raise a whole bunch. Why the hell not? Open mass grave. And if they disintegrate, it doesn't matter because they're nobodies. Nobody. I'm nobody. Raise undead. Here we go. Kapow. Two more. Galley and Grawl. So... What I meant to say a couple of episodes ago, I might have even said it, but I think I cut it out, which is why I didn't bring it. Oh, this is exactly why. Mark. Fucking Mark. Um, I don't think I actually included it in the video because people died since then. But um, if you guys want to suggest some names for the undead army, if you'd like to see one of your characters in the game, then please, by all means, let me know. And I will definitely add your character onto the list. I think that'd be pretty goddamn cool if we get some, uh, if we get the YouTubers as the, uh, or the commenters on YouTube as the undead there. I think that'd be, could be pretty fun. So let me know. If you got any name suggestions, I'll just pick four at random. Um, and then we also need a name for Moss as well. I'll double check the Patreon. Let's make sure we haven't gone through everyone there. And if not, I'll pick five at random and we can also rename Moss as well. Because these boys, and uh, Moss has definitely earned his name. Um, Gloin and was it Torley? So Gally and Gro are the new ones. We can name these boys. They're just undead. You know, they come and go. Trust me on this one. It's a weird theory, but I think it'll work. Where did you... Oh, God. The undead are out of Undeadburg. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. You need to go back to Undeadburg and take that. God damn. That's Bonnet's original crown. Put that down. Where did you even get that? Good Lord. All right. So, here's the plan. I've put a door in front of the Arcane Forge, and I'm not sure if this will work. Then what we can do is lock it and set an owner so that only Bonnet Bigley can actually access the front of the forge to forge with, right? In theory, that's a really good way of, of just hard locking it so only Bonnet can do it. Uh, that way it's going to prevent, you know, people like we saw before making multiples of the same thing when we only want one of them. So prioritize locking and unlocking door, stop other people coming over. That means people can still come in here. I was tempted to just lock the blacksmith door, but this will stop other people... Uh, using this, but it will still allow them to refuel the arcane capacitor. So hopefully this works um, as intended. If not, I'll find another way. I'll do basically the same thing, but in a slightly different uh, style. Here we go. What have we got? Several groups of people from the Blue Plain Covenant. We've got... Um, oh, they've actually got bows this time. We've got Great Bow, Composite Bow, Short Bow. Okay, so we've got those boys there and those boys there. Oh, really? 22 people. Oh, I wonder if we'll survive. Oh, <laughs> What's the difficult? Did we not increase the difficulty? Hang on. Storyteller settings? We're still on Brandy Rough. I'm, I'm going to go up to Randy Savage. Because we went, we went, we were Cassandra Medium. Then we went up to Rough. Then we flipped over to Randy Rough. I think I'm going to go up to Savage, honestly. Because this seems so easy to repel. The thing is, some of these raids come in and they're like insanely easy. The dwarfs, very, very easy. Because they've got no ranged weapons. These boys, clearly going to be very, very easy. Because they don't really pose a threat. They're tribal. We're in plate mail and we have wizards. Whereas sometimes you get the dragons turn up, you know, man-hunting dragon. Then you, we're a little fucked. It, it, it doesn't seem particularly balanced, so we'll try Savage for a bit. But if it, if it starts killing off a lot of our colonists, I might tone it back down again. Okay, squad, man the crossbows. Let's get on this. Where am I undead? Because they need to be on these ballistas. Oh my god, they move so fast. Oh god, here we go. Take him down. Oh, the minion's going for him. Go, minion. Oh no, Galley. Galley's been grabbed. Uh, I mean, he's gonna... Viper's dead. Right, yeah, he definitely didn't stand a chance. What is that? Um, weaving primitive spear, great. So the undead are gonna man the ballista. Then we've got um, the basically the non mages on the crossbows because you know that makes the most sense. They just automatically grave blade. I like that. That's b better than I could have done with it. Let's be honest. Great minion four has died. Who cares? It's a minion. Um, right, man ballista. Have we got any more ballista left to man? You can man this one, I guess. Go on then. Off you go. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't let me go on either. Of there we go. Right, man ballista. Galley, um, you're undead as well. So you gonna man this one. You already are. Those grenades are from... What are you? 
What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Faceless. Master of Disguise, able to manipulate and capture the muscle and mental actions of another and release it as their own. Then we've got an entertainer. Oh, that sounds useful. And we've also got an entertainer. That sounds useful. Fire Mage. Okay, those are apparently quite lethal. We've got a Warlock, which we're not too interested in. Death Knight, same as El Kip. We've got um, a Technomancer. Obviously, we've already got a Technomancer, so I'm not too bothered about that. We have a Psionic, which I believe is the same as Jim Morrison. Okay, so I'm actually really interested in capturing um, an Entertainer and also the Fire Mage as well. Apparently, Fire Mage have insanely good AoE, so if we could knock that dude down, um, rather than killing him dead, Greater Minion 1 is dead. Again, don't really give too much of a shit about Greater Minion 1. All right, here we go. Psionic Storm. Might be a mistake. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Knock him down. Knock him down. Don't kill him. Just knock him down. Maim him if you have to. We've got some magic missiles being fired out there. We haven't knocked anyone down. We've, we've actually just killed everybody. Jim Morrison has leveled up. Not really much of a surprise there. The Entertainer is dead as well. And now they're fleeing. All right. This is where we switch to fists. As you guys have told me many, many times in the comment section to do. Because apparently this is quite a good method for uh, taking people prisoner, basically. Um, so we want to go sidearm, sidearm, uh, sidearm, excuse me, side, excuse me, sidearm, sidearm, no, uh, this guy can't switch to an arm combat for whatever reason, but basically get your sidearm and punch that man, wait, what is he, have we already not got a green boy, um, what are you green boy, technomancer, yeah, I don't want you, punch, punch, where's the fire mage, did we kill the fire mage, oh god damn it, every fucking time, oh wait, some of, not all of them are retreating, this might have been a bad idea. Um, in hindsight, this is a terrible idea. Uh, this is where you guys said to me, this is a really great idea. Take Bonnet Bigly. Apparently, we use Fog of Torment. Oh, we don't have enough mana. Okay, fair enough. Uh, maybe maybe get your weapons back out then. Ignore what I said. Go back to weapon mode. That should be everybody with a weapon equipped again. Good luck. Uh, did we knock one down? Nope. We're just still fucking killing them all. Okay, they don't seem to be retreating very effectively. In fact, they just seem to be coming closer than ever. Hey, do you want to get out? There we go. Now they're fleeing. They're still fleeing into the base. Stop this. We haven't lost anyone. No one's even been... Okay, Dwali's been injured. The undead, Krosis, Jimbo. Honestly, that's a pretty good raid, all things considered. Right, is this boy worth trying for me trying to uh, trying to punch him in the head? Technomancer. Yeah, honestly, go for it. Let's, let's try and knock him down. Let's try and knock him down. Right, get off the crossbow, because you guys are just straight up going to murder the poor man. Right. Draft. Go over here. Um, you need to switch to your fist. Punch him. Krosis is already on his fist. Dwali on the fist. Moss on the fist. Uh, that should be more or less everybody good to go. And then we'll go uh, search and destroy. He's dead. What are your fists made of? Did we take a single prisoner? Not a single friggin' prisoner again. Look at the insane Nigel insane service. Oh my god, the star on search and destroy. Stop. Stop, it's over. Stop. We don't need you going over there. Thank you. I think we're good. Yeah, just let him run. All right, and then Insane Nigel's just basically going to stand here and buff everybody back up to full health. We've got about speed four. There we go. Um, are you all right? As long as nobody is... As long as they haven't, like, lost an arm or something, they can generally get healed up. There we go. And then we're just waiting on the... Oh, the undead has been hit by spirits. That doesn't count. All right. Good work, team. Not a single loss once again. We've got the defense down. Now I need to work out how to actually take prisoners effectively. And I'm, I'm glad you guys have suggested those classes because what I'm probably going to do now... Well, when we get the Devil Strand... Make a bunch of random classes and hope to hell we get lucky enough to get like a sniper or or the bard. So a lot of you still really like the idea of building an actual city, hence why I'm trying so desperately to get some prisoners. Now, the plan for this is to make the peasant district, so we've obviously got the sort of, I guess this is kind of middle class, right? They're quite nice houses, tables, fireplaces, um, dressers, and some backwards end tables there from where the blueprint tool hasn't worked. So, I want to make these houses really cramped in, really small, really dingy, no nice paths or anything like that, just like mud that they have to walk through. So, it looks like a proper peasant district. So, we're going to go ahead and go for blueprints. We're going to go and create a blueprint of this very, very basic crappy mud hut. And I'm just going to copy and paste a whole... Oh, hang on. We don't want them up against the wall, otherwise they will just dig straight through into the bedrooms. Because when sappers turn up, they dig towards bedrooms. That's essentially how they work, right? Um, so if we've got one connected up to the wall, they'll, they'll dig straight into that rather than digging through and running around, if that makes sense. So it's a bit more effective to do it like this. Now, I don't want to do necessarily um, big, long, just snaking paths like this. I want to do, like, creepy little districts within the uh, within the peasants. So let's see what we can, uh, see what we can do with this. 
So this is probably going to be one of the biggest expansions we've got. I like the idea of the peasant district just being this big cluster of houses, lots of dead ends and like weird little districts and that type of thing. Like I'm trying to go for that whole non-symmetrical thing. Then we're sort of going for this nice little area here. This is going to be like a little marketplace if I can find enough sort of decorative blocks to make it look like that. We've got like a little walkway up to the church wall, which I'm planning on redesigning because it doesn't look very churchy right now, eh? Pull a little area for animals as well. We've got a wooden manger there. And I've got to decide what to do with this big area. Again, I think the blacksmiths and, and sort of artisan areas would be better here um, rather than being inside the upper class district, which, which is where you probably want to have like... Uh, I don't know, like a guardhouse or something, or maybe some sort of embassy. I don't know. Well, we'll, th we'll think something as we go along. But yeah, no, this is uh, this is certainly going to be a pretty major expansion. It's going to be a long time before this is finished. Blue Plain Covenant, turn up for round two. They're using sappers to turn around the defenses. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Forty-eight. Oh my god, maybe Savage was a little bit too much. Okay, that's fine. Forty-eight is not um, too ridiculous. Now I'm going to play a lot smarter than I played last time because I was trying to. Um, cheese it and get a lot of bodies, but this time I think we need to just rack up the kills. So, why have they built roofs over the catapults? Do you know how catapults works? This is, this is, do you know how catapults works? Jesus, put that on a shirt. There we go. All right, so let's get these boys over here and let's see what we can do with this. Now, are they attacking immediately? Oh, are they just going to tunnel through Undeadburg? Don't tunnel through Undeadburg. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't believe you. My God, they are. They're tunneling through Undeadburg. Um, okay. That's a little bit annoying. <laughs> okay. Right, so... Fuck. Right. That's fine. Not a big deal. Bring everybody over. Are people missing weapons? I have a, people, I have a feeling very few of them actually have weapons. So Bonnet Bigley... Oh my god, doesn't have a weapon. Classic. Uh, grab this, grab this bow. Why is he moving so slowly? Food poisoning major. Oh god. Okay, Patches has a bow. Pots... Switch to your bow. Egas, switch to your bow. Vricko, nothing. Right, so Vricko, come and grab, uh, I mean, this composite bow, or recurve bow, sorry. Um, you've got a hammer, so that'll do. You're fine. Madalor has a bow as well. Dwali, switch to your hammer, better than nothing. Now, the undead definitely don't have weapons, so we'll come and just get them to grab any old shit off the floor here. Um, there we go, that should do. Croesus has an axe and a crossbow. I would prefer the ranged weapons at this stage just because we're going to have a lot more ranges than there. Or oh, we are going to be superior at range because of the whole magic missile, sonic blast. Why is there a corpse? Well, Tom Bombadil's corpse just happens to be in... Wait, is that not Bonnet Bigley's sword? That's all of Bonnet Bigley's gear is right there. Bonnet, come grab your shit for God's sake. Um, equip that as a sidearm. Equip that as a sidearm for the love of God. Right, Mark has a bow. Man, these raids seem to take longer for me to set up than anything else here. Right, come grab this burning Rico bow now that Bonnet Bigley's not using it. And you also have a crossbow, right? Okay, team. Um, Undead Berg, I know that you guys don't come here because it is cursed. Are we going to get there in time? Shit, no, we are not. Oh, okay. Hang on. Boom. Right. El Kip, where is he? El Kip is miles away. Of course he is. Okay, so Madelore has nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. I'm looking for magicians. We need magicians, damn it. Um, Shadow Bolt. Just fire it in there, dude. Uh, what have we got? Magic Missile. Fire it in there. Okay. Croesus uh, has grenades, which is obviously incredible because that is probably going to be fairly effective down there, as you'd imagine. Um, Egas. Frost Ray. Do it, my son. Uh, you have Sonic Storm. Just kill them all. Oh, it's it's incredible. It's fantastic. It's It's so great to look at. Look at them die. Look at them die. What is that? Oh my god, there's a lightning storm. Run, team. Um, are they retreating? They're freaking retreating. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay, um, oh my god, we got survivors as well. Are you anything good? Undergrounder? Terrible? Wasp? Physically adept. Has a potential to learn special combat forms. That's okay. That's not bad. Uh, you... Are dead. No, but I want to click on this living person. Reindeer? Reindeer. Bio. Beautiful, nervous. Do we have any wizards trying to run away? That must be... Lightning wizard. Fleeing in panic. Lightning wizard fleeing in panic. Okay. Hunt them down. Uh, bring him in. Okay, we should be able to catch one or two, surely. Surely we can catch one or two. Get him. Take him out. Take him out. We're not going to get there. Blink. Hang on. Blink. Did he make it? Jimbo. Jimbo Fist? Right, what have we got? Hang on. So we've got uh, Bio, Arcane Mage, Entertainer. That's not a lightning wizard at all. Um, 
Sonic, Faceless. Take out the Entertainer? Wait, Arcane Mage. What is an Arcane Mage? I don't think we've got an Arcane Mage, have we? We could try for that. We've got a Sonic as well. Sonic tends to be quite powerful. We've got a Faceless. Um, or we haven't, but I'm just saying that that's what they've got right now that I'm not really interested in. Okay, let's go for the Arcane Mage. Bash. Okay, stop him. Slow him down. I'll send in support when the hell I can find support. Alright, everybody. What have we got? Have we got anyone else who can teleport? Oh, Deep Sea could teleport. Don't remind me. Rest in peace, Deep Sea. Get over here. Right, get, get in and help your boy. Get in and help your boy. Search and destroy Malik. Get in and help your boy. He's down. Jimbo's down. I repeat, Jimbo's down. Uh, that's not... Oh my god, we've knocked some people down. Who did we get? That Shadow Ball seems very, very good for this type of thing. Magically gifted. Oh, that's great. Staggeringly ugly. Nimble. I still want to get that Arcane Wizard. We get that Arcane Wizard. We got anything else. Um, Dominate. Krubo. Did, what did that do? Nothing. Um, Blink. Blink. Who's, who's got Blink? Is it, is it not the dude that's down? Okay, Pots. Useless. Egas. Useless. I don't think we can get this guy. I think he's going to run away before I can get to him. Um, obviously, the undeadly friggin' useless. Um, we've got Mark. Also can't do anything. Maybe I should teach Blink to everybody, because that seems like it could be very, very useful. I think everybody with a Blink, the second they look like they start escaping, a spite him. Can we hit him with a spite? No, he's way too far away. He's way too far away. Ranged? Switch to ranged. Search and destroy ranged. Oh, come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Don't let him escape. Too late. He's gone. He's gone. All right. What do we get then? We got, in conclusion, magically gifted. Obviously, we're going to try and get you. Uh, fast walk up. Ma too magically gifted. Holy shit. Right. Um, where's Nigel? Insane Nigel? I need you to... Uh, are they going to die before we can get them back? Or am I going to have to heal them here? No immediate danger. Capture this person. This person is magically gifted. That's incredible. Because that means we don't have to make those goddamn ridiculously expensive gems. We could just imbue them with the scroll instead. Okay, great. Bio. Uh, basically anybody who's magically gifted or physically gifted. Fast walker. Don't give a shit. Cockabonna. Magically gifted. You will do. Uh, health. Absolutely fine. Capture. Excellent. And then in here we had reindeer was nervous. Understandably. <laughs> Kangaroo. Ugly. I think the one that was physically gifted is dead. Alright, we might as well just capture whoever we can then. Capture them all. Sod it. Bring the whole lot back. Capture Sparrow. Capture Scorpion. Capture Frog. Oh, we don't have enough beds. We've only got four prisoner zones? Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. I'll put another. That's not a problem. You're fine. Everybody's fine. Well, I was looking at a little bit risky there. Just frantically trying to patch everybody up. Finally, patches is patched. Okay, so then we do have... Let's take a look here. Oh, one of them has died. It doesn't matter too much. Um, what was your bio like? Physically adept. That's a little bit of a shame. But again, I'm not particularly after the physical abilities right now. I want to test out all the mages. I mean, that's still one of the major goals for the series here. All right, so insane Nigel. Come and get these boys healed up as soon as possible. All right, so you... Don't, so we should probably check which one is most likely to die. No immediate danger. No immediate danger. You are fine. Uh, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, so basically it was only that one that was going to bleed out anyway. I think that's probably enough. I think it should be fine now. We need to go send Insane Nigel to go and actually sleep now because he's been up all night basically patching up everybody, enemy and friend alike. Now what we want to do is make sure we've got ourselves a Warden. So Bonnie Bigley, welcome. You are now King Warden. Um, how was the... Pots. Pots. My door didn't work. Okay, so, so, uh, right. Now that I know that that's actually the case, let's very quickly use some bamboo to build a very small crafting area around this. Just make sure they definitely cannot get to it. Um, I'm going to do something a little more like this. There we go. Build coffee. Put that there, that there. There we go. Get rid of that. We will lock it to Bonnet Bigly again. Um, surely they can't climb over it like that. That wouldn't work, right? We'll have to wait and see how it works. Oh, that's very cool. So I'm having to move this arcane capacitor over because they can still get to the forge just by climbing over the side of it. Seems a little bit bullshit, but there we go. Um, so what you do is when you disassemble the arcane capacitor, the only reason I didn't want to do that is because we would lose all of our mana that we stored in there. So that it turns into something called port fuel, um, which I believe we got before from the teleporter, right? That we were trying to... Uh, th that I set up very briefly just to see what it did. Anyway, that's very cool. Um, let's get Patches working on this for us because I know he, he is a... Fairly decent builder. Unfortunately, they just basically can't stop themselves. Like, Croesus just, just absolutely can't let it go. When I keep telling him to stop working on the goddamn staff of the Defender. What are you doing now? Holding bamboo. Okay, thank God. It is done. Holy shit. This is, I'm, I'm basically just sat here waiting for the Devil's Strike to grow this, right? It's, it's taken absolutely goddamn ages. But we've done it. The Cloak of Supremacy 
bonnet bigly wear it with pride my friend so obviously we do want to um put on what is it what is the other thing we want to whack on this goddamn thing it's like the gem of the gem of regen or the gem of wonder or something like that uh major gem of uh major gem of wonder that's right 650 unrefined magicite 600 jade incredibly expensive and we're gonna need one of those for each piece oh my god it looks like like it could be lingerie or something all right well there we go force wear oh my god he looks like <laughs> oh my god what is that supposed to be <laughs> bought it bigly everyone Thank you all for watching. Unfortunately, churning out many, many different class scrolls and turning Bonnet Bigly into a, into a lich and making, making everybody learn their ultimate moves. Can wait till next time. Besides, I mean, we've had we've had this glorious sight this episode. So why on earth would I ever want to do anything else? I feel like this is this is this is made up for the lack of Devil Strand. Big shout out to Zachary Harris, Harik, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidini, Tim Bragg, Loras, Vacuous Backers, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspire T, Jimbo, Orxwell, Facundo Vasquez, Tom Terrier 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Jackson Woodman for their support the insanity levels on Patreon. Thank you very much for your help. And a big shout out as well to Nathaniel Limbo, Brennan Antoniak, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Betamus Max, Panthapel, Gabriel Van Ders, Luan Antonot, Nathan Flores, Yon DeVries, Haji Dumar, Alpha Scuff, Kevin Saunders, Don Connie 217, Zet McDougal, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asro, Nick, Will Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, and Adam Person.